So to create a level selection menu, you want to have first of all a new scene that just it's called level select. It can be a UI scene. Uh, I have a background color just for looks. You want to have a scroll container. I don't think I've actually figured out how to use it properly. But if you want to, you can figure that out and have a scrolling menu. But for currently for me, I just have a grid menu where it just grids like this. So inside that scroll container, you want a VBox container. You want to have a VBox container and then you want to have rows inside that so those are horizontal box containers and then you can have vertical box containers inside those representing each column so you can do something like that if you really want it so using this system the menu tiles correctly so you don't have to like constantly edit the menu if you want it to tile and then you want to have another menu and you can just call this like play level and you can have a label on it just called map title and then a button that says play on it and then you want to have a script on this and a and the play button connecting to that script and then to actually make some functionality you want to create another script and you can call this like mission selection handler and then go to project project settings uh you have to go to auto load set the path to the script and set it to a global variable and then that will create a singleton and then you can just have two variables in here and then in the level selection menu you want to have a script on these buttons and you can just have an export var mission path and a mission name and those can be strings and then whenever the button is pressed so you just connect the button to pretty much the button using signals so whenever that button is pressed we set the variables on the mission selection handler to the mission path variables and the mission name variables and then you want to do get tree dot change scene two and then this play level over here and then um on this script you can say dollar sign map title dot text so this label over here and you can just say equal to mission selection handler dot selected map name and then you can connect this button to there and whenever you connect that button you want to say get tree dot change scene to mission selection handler dot selected map so that will dynamically load in the map based on the variables you've given it here in the mission path you just want it to be the uh static path to the mission you want to load and then the mission name can be whatever you want so for example here on this button proto level uh, the mission name is test map and if i click play scene and then play proto level you can see it loads test map but if i go over here and change this to something like proto level and then run it again you can see that it changes to proto level but i'm going to just change that back to uh, test map. Okay, so that is a pretty simple level, level selection screen. It dynamically loads in levels based on variables you give it. It's flexible as in it dynamically adjusts to your amount so you don't have to edit things. Uh, it's a grid that is nice and things are separated into scenes so you don't have to edit one scene a lot and then have just one massive scene. So anyways, thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. Helps out the channel. Helps get content like this. Recommend others. That's all for me for now. Fun Uber out.